Hello guys, what is going on? Endless Tutorials here, back at you with another video. So check this out. Oh, sorry, that was my chair making that noise. Um, don't mind that. Won't have it again, I promise. Okay, so anyway, um, YouTube has wanted me to apply for their AdSense program and, um, revenue sharing, which is where they pretty much put, a, put an ad on my video, and then when y'all guys click it, I get a couple cents or dollars, depending on whatever kind it is, then I'll make so much money over time, and so yeah, and I would not be here without y'all guys, so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the views and the comments and subscribers and the likes, and I don't know, it's just awesome. And if you think about it, the more y'all guys click on the ads, the more money I get, which means the more money I can buy stuff to do a giveaway to make my videos better, prob possibly um, make my recording setup way better, um, which I have a pretty good computer, but it's in an office where it's around, like, the living room and stuff so a lot of people can hear the things that I'm saying and so I have to wait and y'all guys can po possibly hear them so I have to wait to know why he's home so I can record so I get peace and quiet um so yeah once again thanks guys I mean just freaking awesome and another thing I got a new microphone if you can't tell um sorry um I'm wearing it right now um it's a logic tech the numbers i don't know but i'll post the link in the description to where you can get it if you like the sound on it um the sound's very very good coming from the um headphones they have good bass so yeah just bear that in there real quick and so right now in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can make a background that looks really cool. Um, you can either have your name in it, YouTube name, I don't know, whatever you want. Um, it'll look something like this. Okay, so it's going to look something like this. Um, it's not going to be this exact color scheme. Um, so, yes, I'm just going to, it's going to look roughly like this. Not everything I do and how you'll do it will turn out the same. Well, it will, but it won't. If you follow the exact steps, it will, but you're going to want to throw in how you like it because of course you're probably not going to have as many characters as, as I do because as you can see in list tutorials that's quite a lot of letters in there and so you, you might have more letters so you might not want to use the same font so it's not as big and so it just fills the screen I don't know I'm just going to show you how you can create one that looks similar to this okay so recently I created a graphics pack that oh I didn't create them I just found some and I gave it to y'all guys to download so if you go into my channel endless um youtube.com slash endless tutorials you can scroll through my, my videos and find which okay so right here it's called free graph pack I will put the link in the description but go ahead and go to that v video we'll go to this pause it um we go to download here and you'll see the link right here and you can go ahead and download that um it's not that big of a download just go ahead and download that it has a <clears throat> it has a lot of flares and um just all kinds of great things to use um this video does not have a lot of views i'm surprised all right so yeah just go ahead and download okay so let's go ahead and get started in photoshop you need to find your screen resolution so to do that just go to your desktop right click go to screen resolution and it should say right here all right so we're back in photoshop and you want to go to file and you want to hit new and you you want to type in whatever that number was so mine is 1600 by 900 pretty simple to remember because the average widescreen is a 16 by 9 ratio and 1600 by 900 is the pixels or whatever and so we basically have this so on your first layer you want to 
um, go into the graph packs that, that you'd have to download and go to textures and scroll down until you find one that you'd like so let's just look through them here and I'll this one looks pretty interesting uh, how about this one yeah I want this one so we're going to use the black underground D hole whatever and yeah okay so it may may not fit the screen so just you want to click on the corner hold down shift and drag Oh, messed up alright so just shift drag take this one shift drag and just for pretty much put it where you want it then go ahead and click this little checkbox up here okay so the next step is to come down and create a new layer and now what we're going to do is see this little um thing right here it'll be under the black arrow that's under the type tool um and you you want to hold down on it and go go to the rounded rectangle tool now for the, um what, what we're going to do for this little box right here i would recommend mm, oh crap i would recommend no larger than 25 so um which will look that that's 25 i'm going to decrease that you you may want that size it looks good to me but i just want to decrease it a little bit that looks good to me all right so we're going to bring in some rulers here and just kind of have one snap to the middle right there snap to the middle right there all right and this is just so we know where to click it will come down just about as much and looks good to me Alrighty. and so yeah um so yes next thing you're going to want to do is come to the layer that you created the shape on hit right click go to blending options and then right here um you want to give it a drop shadow inner shadow outer glow inner glow bevel and emboss and gradient overlay so these are all so drop shadow um i just kind of move it just a bit distance this is all of your your liking in inner shadow i like to turn it all the way up and it gives it this nice little gradient type look go to outer glow and this theme we're going to do like a bluish no so greenish theme i like green green's a cool color all right so we're going to choose outer glow and we're going to increase the size and the range I'm going to turn that all the way up. Jitter, you can adjust. It really won't even matter when, when we're doing this. Well, it might, but... All right, spread, you can adjust however you like. I'm just going to set it kind of low. Okay, and... Um, go to blend mode. Linear dodge. And then you can just adjust the settings from here. Make it however you like. Next, we're going to go to inner glow. And we're going to choose maybe like around the same color. I would prefer the same color, but if you want something else, like another shade of green, you can do that. And then with this, we're going to just adjust the glow. And just have it kind of like on the outer edge. Just have a slight glow. All right. And then so we're, next, we're going to go to bevel and emboss. Depth, I'm going to turn that up to around 200, 205 ish. All right, oh, two, one knee, not all right. There we go, two hundred, and then change the size. Whoa, too big. Change the size to about eight, and soften just just a tad. You don't want it too too sharp. And then we're pretty much done with that. Okay, then the next thing you're going to want to do is choose the type tool, which should be right here in this general location, and click in the middle right there. And then type, oh crap, I'm sorry. No. 
Okay, so after you have the type tool chosen, you want to just click anywhere on it and just start typing. And I'm just going to type in endless tutorials. Alright, so we're just going to highlight that and increase the size. And yep, I have a typo. Grr, I hate typos. Tutorials. You know, I'm just going to retype this. There we go, perfect. Crap, not perfect. All right, and so we're just gonna move it in general location where we want it. All right, and then you wanna highlight the whole thing and then increase the size to whatever you want and choose whatever font you want. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and use some kind of coolish font. Eh. Yeah, we'll do that. And, and um you can just move it if you shift you can have it stay on one thing and we'll go ahead and use this font. uh oh I made a boo boo so we're going to delete that layer I don't want that layer in there and so yeah I'm just going to increase the font size just a tad bit just cause yeah just because I can. Because I can. Alright, so we're going to select the layer. And hold down shift. Grab click, hold down shift. Then we can move to the left. Alright, and so now we're going to right click on the text layer. And then we're going to hit blending options. And under blending options, we're going to give it a drop shadow, and um, we're going to give it an outer glow. No, yeah, and an inner shadow. Not an inner glow, bevel and emboss, and a gradient overlay. Now the gradient overlay, we're going to change, um, we're going to reverse it, okay, and then go into inner shadow. And then go to size and turn it all the way up. Drop shadow, size, distance. I don't know, just change it to however you want. Um, I really don't care for a drop shadow. Well, I do, alright. We'll leave it there. Now the outer glow, we're going to make it a greenish color. Well, whatever color you decide to choose. We're going to increase the size of it and the range once again all the way up. Uh, bevel and emboss. This go ahead. I like to make the depth all the way up, uh, soft and all. Make sure it's all the way down. Um, size, just above, like about six pixels maybe. It gives it that like cool looking look. Um, uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it for that. Okay, now if we go into the lens flares, we can click on that and find one we want. I'm going to find some green flares. So I'm going to wait till all these images load up really quickly. Okay, so we got them all loaded up. And I'm just going to scout through it for some green flares. And I see one good one right here that I want to use multiple times. So we're just going to drag it in here. And we're going to go where it says um, the kind of way it is. I don't know the name of it. Um, hit screen. And we're going to hold down shift, scale it down. Going to move it into place. Okay. And we're going to take our eraser tool place. Eraser tool. Well, first we're going to need to ras rasterize the layer. And then we're going to increase the size, right? And then come up here and make sure your hardness is down some. So yeah, so we get a nice soft brush so you just know hard marks or whatever. And boom, we have our picture. If you want, you can um duplicate the text layer so duplicate layer all right and then bring it hold down the shift key and bring it down 
then take your type tool, go on this, and like say HTTP, and boom, we have some aws an awesome background that you can use. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this tutorial. Remember, comment, rate, subscribe. Um, and, you know, if you see the ad and you don't like it, feel free to click click on it. I mean, it helps me out, which will help you out, because I'll be, be able to put out more tutorials. So, I've been Endless Tours, and I will catch you later.